1963, President Kennedy survives an assassination attempt unharmed. 1967, USA and USSR combine efforts in space exploration. They make findings public and research all patents. Two years later, they accomplish the first joint voyage to the moon. 1970, four big companies building upon the open patents, building upon the open patents, joined forces and found Rama Industries to further explore the resources of other planets and moons. 71 to 85, major leaps are made in space travel and colonization. Anti-gravity technology enables transporting huge payloads to outer planets. Meanwhile, computers stay in laboratories and do not become part of daily life. 1992, a major catastrophe on a research base on Jupiter's moon Europa kills 200 scientists. A single survivor manages to escape, bringing all research data to Earth. 1993, Rama Industries makes a groundbreaking discovery on Saturn's moon, Titan. They decide to establish research base M to study the findings. Hello, and welcome to Pollen, or P-O-L-L-E-N, as, as it's also possibly called. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is another, I think, single-player exploration survival game set in space. Now, I am, by the way, aware of the Solus Project, I am incredibly excited to get my hands on it and do stuff with it, but I believe that it's coming out sometime in May and um, we are potentially chatting with them. Nothing official, but I don't want to do anything early and miss out on that final build, if that makes sense. Uh, also, I'll have a lot more time on my hands when we get to May. I'll be able to do streaming of it and all that shit, so I'm very excited for that. But pollen um, is the focus of the day uh, because I do like a nice space game. And I'm sure it will be fine and no one will die. Um, oh, but wait. Oh, but wait. What is the synopsis of this? So from that cutscene that you saw right at the start, a lot of shit has gone down in an alternative universe differently. Kennedy didn't die. The internet was never invented. The space race continued. Soviet and US joined forces and companies began to get involved as well. So a little bit like Alien, let's be honest. There's a lot of Alien kind of, or those similar like space stories of the companies rising up. So as that cutscene right at the end said, Station M has just been built on Saturn's largest moon, Titan, because of Jupiter's moon exploding and all that stuff. And something has obviously been found. What is actually going down here is we're a reserve employee of Rama. Something's happened and one of the research team has vanished. You know how it goes down in space. And we've been sent in to, um, yeah, to figure out what's going on. Great. Also, just a small thing. All the menu screens have tinkly piano. Look. Creepy noises on the menu. I like that. <laughs> just small things. Oh. Hello. Thank you. For oh man. A social relationship section of this interview. What? Now, for the last section, please answer the questions as truthfully and as quickly as possible. Uh. uh okay. Psychological assessment test. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm a female. I'm interested in technical devices. <sighs> uh, I suppose, I suppose. I mean, I'll be honest, it's 10 a.m. The coffee's barely kicked in. Um, I don't really mind. I mean, I'm an only child, but I don't mind teams. I don't know. I, to be fair, I shouldn't go into this too much. I'm just going to say solo because we know I'm going to be on the, my own for most of this game. I like plants and flowers, yes. I like animals more though. I plan carefully, but no, no I act. Or oh, reading, you suddenly realise there is a bee crawling on your arm. Oh God, I don't want to kill it. I certainly don't want to let it be, let it be. There's no other option, which is to flail wildly, shake it off and run away. So um, I guess let it be. 
I would love... No, I don't want to be a gardener. Thank you for your willingness to work for Rama Industries. Mm -hmm. We are now processing your PAT4C2 answers. While we evaluate the answers, please take a look at the benefits and terms of agreement on your right and left. Okay. Right, hang on. So we've got... Ah, that's how we zoom. I found a position matching your profile by... Oh! Please have a pleasant assignment with Rama Industries. Technical engineer. ...to accept the terms and conditions and begin working. Hang on. Just hang on. I'm just reading it. Always read the terms of agreement. Two-year continuous contract working at distant locations. No possibility of time off. Not liable for any any shit hitting the fan. Um, jobs with a higher purpose for upkeep and own private room. Free education for children. Um, sure. I will take that. Is this like... I'm trying to think what the, the uh, things are. It's like alien crossed with extant crossed with something else, I guess. Oh, I've got a helmet on. Right, this is somewhat scary and confusing and all the buttons and... Oh, God, am I in a pod? What's that say? Landing trajectory. This is Saturday. Oh! You have your first task as the new technician of Base M. We have lost our communication link with the base. Re-establish the comm link between HQ and the comm station. Okay. When this is done, we will send further instructions. Oh! HQ out. Oh, it, oh there's a light. There's, 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 there's things. Uh, that worries me. Low battery, soup pressure, oxygen supply, uh, really bright lights. I'm scared. I'm not sure I could do anything yet. I think I just have to wait until we land. Well, yeah, autopilot's engaged. It's all right. It's fine. Not, I'm not excited, guys. I am dreading this. Because we all know what happens when you go to any sort of isolated area and you've lost contact with the team. I'm not just going to say space because the thing is not in space. Um, if you haven't seen the thing, you totally should. There's a few different iterations, um, but one of them is particularly iconic, which I rewatched recently, and that was pretty fucking distressing, actually. I forgot how creepy the dogs and shit are in it. It's all hand puppets and animatronics. So, um, oh, that's my pod. Have I got, oh, gravity. I'm defying gravity. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. This is cool though. I mean, it's, it's a bit windy out here. Hello? I can't see a frickin' ah. Oh, God. A frickin' thing. Hang on, what was that? Oh. You can turn them. Oh, building crew of base M. Can I keep it? No. Oh, God, hello. So are these employee numbers, is that an additional person? Oh. Oh, did she replace... Oh! So Karen and Patrick... ...have got different numbers. So did Karen... Is Karen... Is Karen Patrick? We may never know. Or is Karen just related? Honestly, I don't really care. Either way, um, I do find it somewhat sus that the operating director and the research leader are of the same surname. Oh, God. Uh, I didn't want that. Fuck. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't want that either. So we can literally pick up everything if we want. Oh, that's the planning phase. Tells you how they're doing it all. Um, let's not bumble about with that too much. That that all looks like it's in order. Ah. Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, hello. Oh, door lock my door lock my function. Hmm. Data won't reach Stacy. There's not much we can do. They won't be here anymore. Do you think that? Oh, hello. Why is the comlink 
to HQ back on. Hi. Did I undo that already? Can't be. I just saw him heading to the generator. It's me. Bloody hell. So they didn't listen. They sent someone. Me. Goddamn Rama executives. Oh shit. You there, in the comm station. I am the operating director here, Amanda Pohl. Hey. There is no time to explain, but all the mission data is being loaded in the cargo train. Hmm? This is Saturn HQ. Good. We have the comm link up. Thank Could you. you not talk over her? You should head to base M. On your way there, you could lower the weather station telescope to protect it from the storm. What do you want? HQ out. Okay. I mean, you did talk over the woman who was trying to tell us quite important information then, so you're a massive jerk, thanks. Lower weather station telescope report to base, so there's a storm coming in. If you hadn't guessed by the already quite bad weather, which in theory is not actually um, that rare One more data barrel and we're done. for Jupiter, but still. Uh, I found the generator's control rod automation. I'll bypass it now. Oh, um... There we go. It's coming up. Oh god, I forgot about the jumping thing. I'm going to just apologize in advance. I've got a little bit of a cough today. Hopefully most of them will get edited out, but just in case there's a weird like <coughs> noise. You know what it is. Didn't you hear? Brahma sent a replacement and the comm link is already up. They didn't listen to us. Yeah, bitch. What? I better hurry back. Oh god. Ugh, come on! Stairs are not built for this. Right, so this is the weather tower, right? Oh god, hang on. Uh, oh god! Ugh! Is that in? It's alright, yeah? You alright there, buddy? I hope so. This might have been a bad call. Oh god. Gravity and stairs! I may as well just fling myself off of it. Wee. Left shift. Okay, yep. I'm going to do a run. Okay. I'll be radio silent for a moment. I'm putting on the suit and entering the airlock. Wee. <laughs> well, I've done most of your jobs for you out here, so I wouldn't worry. Okay, the data's loaded on the train. Oh, that's my helmet. I was like, what the fuck's that? This is kind of cool. Guys, the lights are flickering a lot. Yeah, no shit. Is it because of the generator? No, it's because of the aliens. Do, 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 do. Oh, whoa, hello. What the fuck is that? Is that an ion storm? Holy shit. They're scarier than I thought from Star Trek. Oh, fuck me. Suit pressure. Oh, my God. I need to get in the doodad. Where is it? It's there. Come on. This is her run, by the way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? I totally am going the wrong way. How do I get in there? Motherfuckers! Ugh. I might die. <laughs> oh shit, hang on, there it is. Is this a button? Please God be a button. Yes! Let me in! Please God, let me in! I am going to die at this rate! Ugh. Maybe shut it again as well, yeah? in case the aliens find us quick 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 you're fine don't panic don't panic oh, oh, oh let me in I don't want to die there we go do I need to shut it again oh fuck it who knows gone black and white. I have a horrible feeling that may mean my death is coming. Dude. How the shit do we close the airlock? Oh god. 
Jesus Christ, I'm going to die. This. Oh, hello. That did things. Yes, there we go. Air, please God give me air. Oh, oh, phew. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit, oh God, it's very dark and, oh, that's better. Here. Oh. Oh, brilliant. Oh, fuck. I thought we were in trouble then. I thought I was being a massive noob. Um, and arguably I, I was, but I mean, there's so many things you could press and buttons. There's a lot of stuff. Just hovering about here that you can interact and play with. So yeah, apparently there's an awful lot of buttons on the station because this also comes with a virtual reality. Uh, version of the game. So if you have got a virtual reality headset, I'm not sure which one it will do. Oculus, Oculus Rift. But um, why would we need to crouch? Why is, I don't know, that's weird. But yeah, so like they've created this amazing set that you can press so many buttons on and all this stuff. That's what the Steam page says anyway. So I guess we'll find out. I mean, majority of this seems like tat, if I'm honest. <gasps> oh, um. What the fuck? What is this? Oh shit me. Why is... Oh! Ah, why is the gravity weird? Oh dear. Oh god, that's ion. Oh Jesus, also... Oh God, come back. Come here. Jesus Christ. Oh, I done a bad. What the fuck is this? Oh. There is a, there's a tape recorder here. Very alien. Press play. I guess that's how we get out of it again if we want. Guys, this game is creep factoring. What's this? For the rescue team. Oh, piss. Just dropped it. Or did I? Did I put that in my pocket? Yes, I did. Brilliant. Okay. Um, press play. Press. It's been months now. Maybe almost a year or something. I guess... I guess it is December already. And today... Today I broke out of the airlock. Right. I took the jackhammer. Removed the outer door and... I don't know what to make of this. I know this is connected to that thing in the cave. That thing in the cave? The entity. The entity. Fucking... Damn. The things I've seen. I'm beginning to think there won't be a rescue. Oh, good. Okay, well, how about if we eject it? It says help. No, 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 no. I want it. I think. Ah, there we go. And then that. In there and play. Karen Kowalski. I am a technician here in Research Base M. Hello. I don't know how, but it looks like everyone has disappeared. Yay! He's building the platform below the lab and I shouldn't say yay, but Well I'm, I'm alone here. Most of the power is off. Communications are out. And the airlock door is stuck. At least the oxygen level seems stable. So if you're listening to this, come and find me. Okay. Let's take that with us, because, yeah. It's a bit of a, I don't want to say it's a cumbersome UI, because you can tell it's very much Oculus friendly. This whole thing is Oculus friendly. But um, it, you know, it forces you to, oh God, no, 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 come back. Fuck. 
it forces you to actually do actions. So I don't really have any issues with it, to be honest. It's just sort of getting used to how it works. So everyone's alone. It's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Hang on, what we should be doing is going that this way. Although that very much pains me. Uh, motherfucker what? Oh, Q. Ah! Uh, oh, okay. Ventilation manual. I mean, the airlock looks a bit fucked, if I'm honest. It all looks a bit fucked. I hope you don't want me to repair it, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I kind of don't want to go in there. I don't think I actually can. It's pushing me out of it, so I'm just going to... Back the fuck up. 